думаю, что любой человек, который когда-либо занимался хоть какой-либо физической активностью, знает, что перед каждой тренировкой самое лучшее – это разминка. I spent uh, 20 minutes for stretching and another 20 or 30 minutes to running or jumping. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into the video, make sure that you go down and subscribe to my channel. That way you are always the first to know whenever I upload a video and so that you don't miss one. Hey guys, this is a warm-up routine that's perfect to do before any workout of the day. Alright, if you want to join in on this challenge, do not forget to leave a comment down below with your progress or use my hashtag on Instagram or even create a YouTube video so that we can support one another and let's get started. We've got 20 exercises in this warm-up. 30 seconds each, and no break in between. And let's get started. On the floor by sitting on your knees, this is known as the thunderbolt pose in yoga. While stretching on your thigh, cross your arms, hug your shoulders at the back and bend forward. By doing this position, you are stretching both your lower and upper body. And that helps strengthening your muscles without doing much. Then you can cross your hands from behind and lower yourself to further stretch on your shoulders, arms, back and core. You can do this exercise anytime in the day easily. The next exercise, we have lunging hip flexor stretch with one knee flat on the floor and one knee bent. We will start with the right. Keep your thigh parallel to the floor and your back straight. To make it more challenging, you can turn it into the standing lunge stretch by raising the knee from the floor. Lean forward, stretch your hip towards the floor. The hip flexor stretch helps loosening up your hips and this exercise is excellent for people sitting all day. Don't force yourself, and if you feel any pain, back down to the lunging position with knee on the floor, as you don't want to hurt yourself. Now we put our hands on the floor from the inside of your thigh and stretch our elbow to the floor. Alternatively, we can change into quad stretch position by grabbing your ankle with the opposite hand. Then switch side, this pose helps improve your balances and alleviate lower back pain. You can do either the quad stretch or the elbow stretch variation and even do it longer by pausing the video to make sure your groin, glutes, hip flexor muscles and knees are totally stretched. You can move back to the lunging hip flexor stretch or standing lunge stretch. Make sure you keep your core engaged and your body straight. After stretching your lower body, you can stand up. The next exercise is neck rolls. Do four rotations on each side. And then bend your neck back and forth, side to sides and repeat. We will stretch our shoulders and arms next. Keep swinging your arms. Moving on next. Let's draw arm circles to loosen up our upper body. Let's do four rotations on each clockwise and anticlockwise direction. Then the elbows. Then stretch your hands and wrists. We move forward to standing toe touches stretch. Stand upright with your feet shoulder width apart, then bend forward and start touching your toes side to sides by counting 1 to 4. Keep your legs straight and your body loose.
then return to the starting position, and the next exercise is side-to-side -side squats. When you are doing the squats, make sure you keep your head up, your chest open, your abs tight, and your body straight as you don't want to injure your back. Once you are comfortable with your form, try adding a bunny hop jump in between the side squats and challenge yourself. We will finish it up with some simple squats. Then stretch your thigh with a ply squat. Hold the position. Then twist your back and shoulder from side to sides. This squat variation is super effective to tone your hip and thigh. Most ballerina and skaters absolutely love this squat. Moving on we have another squat variation. Rise up, feet together, hands on the hips and do an imaginary sit-down position with your knees going sideways while keeping your feet together. This exercise is really great to keep your core engaged while working on your thigh. Then keep your knees together and draw the circles to strengthen your knees and the muscles on your legs. Moving on we will further stretch our knees with standing leg circles. Keep your toes pointed Raise your left leg up to knee high and start rotating it in both directions. Then switch side, breathe smoothly and let your abs do all the work. We will straighten out our knee with quad stretch. Then switch side. And then high knee grab to finish it up. You could extend your leg in between these changes to loosen up your trained muscles and make the exercise more effective. Pause the video if you need to stretch your knee longer. Or we can move to toe circles to stretch our feet. This exercise will improve your balance, coordination and muscles. We are moving into the more intense part of the exercise. Jogging in place. Jog slowly, then increase your speed to the max and slow down again. This cardio workout is so effective to warm up your body, help you lose weight, and burn belly fat. You can try lifting your knees higher or feet higher for the best effect. Then walk in place to cool down a bit. Then we continue our cardio workout with one leg running combined with high knee and leg circles position to further stretch our thigh, hamstring, hip and calf muscles. Let's do four sets on each leg. Then we have the crossover steps drill. Move your back leg to the front while running sideways and continuing down. This exercise is also known as the karaoke. It is perfect to build your lateral strength for a dynamic warm up and widely used by many athletes. Then we move on the side-to-side -side drill by running sideways. You can also end each side of the running with a jump if you have enough strength. Next up we have the jumping jacks to further stimulating our heart muscles. Jump slowly and pick up the speed once you are more comfortable with this cardio exercise. Besides jumping jacks, you can do a few variation of jumps such as running with jumping interval. All these exercises help strengthening our heart and increase energy. Squat to jumps. One-legged jumps. Or squat to jumps to body extension. That's intense, isn't it? 
Let's cool down a bit with a standing toe raise stretch. Start with the right toe, then left, then both. Then alternate toe. Finally, let's end this workout with leg swings. Let's start with the left leg. Find a wall or chair to hold onto, then swing your leg forward and back. Swing as high as you can while keeping your leg straight, but don't force the swing so far that your hips rotate or your back bends. Then repeat with the other leg. You can also put your free hand on your lower back to feel when the spine starts to talk. If so, back off a bit as you don't want to injure yourself. And that's the warm up guys, if you're not warm enough you can do one more round. And our body is ready for training now.